what I found, find from actually, going back from the Sussex Manifesto itself, but one point which still remains about this internal brain drain. It talks of this high level of human and capital resources modeled on adva advanced country institutions. High level of human and capital resources being wastefully built up with little impact on local economic systems, which still is actually one of the burning problems which I feel in our developing countries. Second point which I would like to throw is to the floor is that return to investment in developed and developing countries in for research organizations, we increasingly find that con that they are looking at return to investment in terms of high quality scientific papers, but less in terms of affordable and accessible technology. Third point would be that we how to evaluate through the quantitative matrices related to citation and publication in world's leading, leading discipline journals or by action research. And then these are the new demands of the knowledge economy, which we must be putting into this aspect that we are talking about that we have to participate in global value chain. But the point is that there are different power relations in the hands of relatively small number of big companies who are in this, this power relation. So all these issues, this, I would have liked to throw more light, but still I am very thankful that the organizers have given me this opportunity to speak. Now the current work which we are trying, which we are trying to understand is the nanotechnology as an important frontier technology, which many of these developed and in developing countries have very, what you call, adopted very aggressively. But the point which we need to realize that new and revolutionary technologies always comes as a package with the promise of new opportunities and the threat <coughs> of new risks. And when we look at this risk, we find that there is a strong argument for a governance structure, a risk governance, which actually is missing, even in what are these different types of documentations, different types of policy articulation. It is always the top-down approach which is trying, they are trying to say. But they fail to realize that the failure to address issues of risk can give rise to public concerns that may have a backlash on the technology development itself, which we have seen in BT Cotton and others. So keeping that in view, what we are strongly articulating is a sort of governance structure which should emerge, which should actually look at the types of, now you see that there are a number of products in the market. But there are no labeling requirements on the worker protection, protocols, comprehensive modernity, regulatory governing, all these nanotechnology products. Even in the country, you find that IIT Bombay and many of these, it is, they have developed products which actually have direct connection with the human interface. Cardiac diagnosis products are in the market, water filters and all, but I have none of them which, to my knowledge, which we have seen that no regulatory mechanisms have gone through to really check on those, the risk and the other issues associated with that. So with these, I think the points are like that. Thank you very much.